It's gonna be removed, replaced, but I always like just take a quick look at it. Now I'll remove the float. Got two screws back in here. To get a good cleaning, I always like to remove the float. And after you remove the two screws, it just slide right out. Remove the fuel sight plug. And just remove your umbrella seal. And it's completely disassembled. And you do the same thing for the rear fuel bowl. And remember when I said the rear accelerator pump wasn't working? Look, the rubber is hard as a rock. That's why it wasn't working. And the back is completely tore apart. Now time to start cleaning up. I like to use these baking sheets you get from Walmart or somewhere. They cheat, but if the carburetor is full of fuel, it wouldn't run across your bench. But plus when a screw come out, it won't roll away. So I like to use the baking sheets. Now time for the clean up. When we come back, we'll start putting everything back together. I like to start with the throttle plate first, because that way I can put everything back on the stand. Alright, since this one is not real bad, I changed my solution in my ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to give it a little cleaning. Alright, that's pretty clean. Now drop the main body in. So it's a little dirty in the inside. 